Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. We've got a haul today. We've got jewelry, some clothes, a surprise return, PR, hire sent me over something, maniology, and journal junk box. So let's jump in and see what it is. We're gonna start with the hire because I came lipless. I guess that was a bad choice of words. Technically, I am not lipless. I do indeed have lips. I am lip adornmentless. I have no lipstick on. If you guys saw the channel a few months back, Hire Collective, they were in my Insta feed. And it was a lovely woman about my age who popped open a box that had four samples of their lippies in it. It came with a lip brush. You could try four of their most popular colors. And I did it. There's just something about the colors, about the way she said it. It just, it spoke to me. So I went on and I bought the sample kit. It came very quickly and I tried all four. I think I showed them to you guys at the time. I will try and find that video and put a card at the end. I love them. The formula of the lipstick I like in all of them. I did have a couple of favorites. Truest was my absolute favorite color. Blue jeans was nice. I've started using the Lion because it leans a little warmer and I've started using it for fall. Anyway, Higher Collective saw the video and they were like, hey, can we send you over our product to try? Absolutely. Because since then, in a FabFitFun edit sale, I chose one of their glossing oils and I love it. It, the color is perfect. It is the blue jeans color, which is my second favorite after Truist. The Truist is a little darker. That's the only reason it's my favorite over blue jeans. But it's a glossy oil, but it's full color. It's like putting a lipstick on, but then having it kind of be glossy. I love it. So I have tried two of their things now and liked them a lot. And oh, I have two things in here. Let's see what we've got. So this is what I'm saying. I've already cut it, but it's high and then an R and it's the Higher Collective, I will link it below. I am not affiliated with them. They just sent this over for me to show you guys. So this is what they sent over. It's a little blue jeans pack because one of their colors is blue jeans. That is what it looks like, nice little pouch. Let's see what they sent me. When she sent me over her message, she said she noticed in the video that I said I loved the truest. They sent the truest, <laughs> both of them. So this is their truest lipstick. Do they call it a lipstick? Yes, it's just, it's a lipstick. We're gonna get into this because I saved myself for this. And then we also have the truest, this is the glossing because this is what I got the blue jeans in. Yes, this is the glossing lip duo in truest. That is so sweet of them to send it over. It is absolutely, and you can go back <laughs> and watch where I have talked about them when I did that FabFitFun when I received, yes, this. I purchased this in blue jeans because that's what was available. If truest had been available, I would have purchased truest. But I talk about how much I love the formula of these lipsticks and glossing oils. I love them. This is my first, I will admit, this is my first full size of their lipstick. How does it come apart? Oh, just that easy. <gasps> That's a mirror. Oh my gosh, and I can see myself in it. That is so fun. This is the truest. You guys know I love a dark berry color. So this is the one that spoke to me. I wish you were here and I could say right now, what should I put on? The lipstick or the glossing oil? Or both. We go with or both. I just right? got online to look at their webpage. And again, I am in no way affiliated with this. They did send it over for me to show you guys. But like I said, you can go back and see where I talked about how much I love this. And these sets, the set that I have, they are now selling. So you can pick up the set. It would be a Fantastic Christmas gift for yourself or somebody else. Also, in looking this up, Truest is their best-selling colorway. Of course it is. I would love the most popular thing. I love that color. It's just, it is perfect for me. Because of my cool skin, I think that the berry color is perfect for me. I think it would be great even if you weren't cool skinned, but yeah, I love it. such a gorgeous color. Let's put a little gloss on over it. Take it out, that's what it looks like. And this is the one that when I got it from FabFitFun, I said, I think it's glass. It's really heavy and weighty. It's a gorgeous feeling component. Just a little glossy. I wanna thank Howard Collective for sending this over. This is so much fun. What do you guys think? I love this color. 
absolutely, if you watch the channel, you know, this is right where my favorite colors live and the formulas of both of these feel fantastic. I will put a link below that will take you over to the Higher Collective so you can check this out. All of their colors are great. If this isn't the perfect color for you, they have other colors. I have this in the blue jeans, which is the shade stepped down from this. It's more like a your lips, but just a little juicier, a little bit more color, but not all of this much color. But this, I love this color year round, but especially in the winter. This is just perfect. Okay. I want to thank Higher Collective for sending this over. I love that it's something that I use and I know that I love. I'm going to put it right back in this little pack. I might have to get another one <laughs> because my instant thought when I put it in here was that I would put it in my purse. But I don't think I want to be without it in the house because I think it's perfect for taping too. So I think I might have to treat myself to another deal. If you have any questions about this, about the colors, be sure and let me know. Like I said, I will put the video up of when I opened the sampler, which again, bought with my own money, not affiliated with them. But it shows, I think five, I can look it up. I don't have to guess. It shows, I believe, five of their favorite colors. And let me see what I can remember. I remember it was blue jeans, truest, lion, Come on, you can do it. I'll keep looking while I try and come up with it. I wish I could remember them. Pamela and, oh, Chiltern. I love Chiltern too. Chiltern is their red. It is a gorgeous red. I will be sure and link the video because I think I tried them all on. As I'm recalling, I think I tried them all on. Okay, we will move on. I just wanted to express to you guys Kind of like my City Beauty, how I don't talk about that very often, but I love it. I just wanted to express to you guys how much I love this. I love the colors and the formula. Okay, next out, we have a shirt to try on. And yes, <laughs> once I get it out of here, you're going to be like, I'm sorry. Is that a repeat? Well, I mean, technically, I guess so. I just recently opened in one of, oh, I didn't get it open. I just recently opened in one of my videos this shirt in a different color. And I had purchased it and gotten it on Amazon. So I got on to look at the other colors and I was really taken with this kind of dark sage but not emerald green. It is from Ophi Fan. I will put this on again so that you guys can see it. It is so soft so soft and so comfortable. I opened my first one and I wore it, I've already worn it more than once, let's just say that. It is so comfortable and it's long enough to wear with leggings. It has the two little pockets in the front, so comfortable. It is 70% polyester, 25% rayon and 5% span. It is machine wash and tumble dry low. So. I mean, what's not to love about it? I will probably still not tumble dry it. I don't tend to dry any of my tops because I don't want to risk shrinkage, but this one was a great length. It was so soft and comfortable. It fit me so nicely in the arms. And I know that as soon as fall is over, I will quit wearing the rust one. I know you don't have to, I, I know but I also know me and I will. So know thyself. So I figured this would get me through the rest of the winter, especially like the Christmas season, but then through all of the winter. Okay, let's go try it on. Man, I love these shirts. It's exactly like the other one we put on. I had this, I showed you guys in a rust color. And like I said, I know me going into fall, I won't wear the rust. So I was like, I need a different color for the rest of winter. And I figured this one with the green would be great for the holiday season. This is how it fits. I love that it covers my biscuits and my tummy. I can wear it with leggings if I want. It'll be fine with jeans if I want. I just, it's so comfortable and it has these cute little pockets in the front, although you would never carry anything in them. They're really more, I mean, you could, something very light, like maybe a tissue, but you wouldn't want it. It's a very light fabric. It has a lot of stretch in it. It's very comfortable. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to put anything of any weight in those pockets. I love it. So this is it. Uh, I will link the name of the color down below. This is, I picked it up on Amazon. I, I just really, I like it. It just, so comfortable, so comfortable. I may look for this brand to see what else this brand is doing. Although I did just put a Bloom Chic order in. So I will be showing that as soon as it arrives. I have a couple of holiday things in there that I'm hoping to love. So it's back over to there. <laughs> Maniology, Manny by Me. It is their monthly nail subscription box. I have, <laughs> I always seem to have my nails done when I'm not taping. It's not, my timing hasn't been working great for me lately, but we'll get back to it soon. Actually, for the holidays, I've been thinking about getting gel, gels and wondering if I would do my own designs on top of gels or would I worry about ruining them? I'm not sure yet, to be quite honest. 
but I am still receiving this because I will go back to doing them all the time. This is the Manny by Me. I think this was, does it tell us? Yes, this was October's. They run ahead. So October wouldn't have been Halloween. Our Halloween one came in September. This is Berry Companion. <laughs> it's going to be teddy bears. Oh my goodness. I have the girls this weekend. They're going to love this. The Manny by Me, I always say I am an affiliate with them. I will put my link and my code down below. However, if you are signing up for the subscription box, don't use, you can use my link, but don't use my code. Use sub five and it will get you $5 off your first box. The percentage off with my code will not be as much money. So be sure and use sub five. Each month you will receive a little bundle and in it you will have two nail polishes. A special surprise. This looks like some kind of gold nail art stuff. And then you will have your two plates and... Oh, what is this? Stamping guide. Ooh, we have a guide to tell us how to do it and a sticker. When you order your first kit, you'll get your stamper also, which is a silicone stamper. You paint your nails, you take your maniology because it is best. You can use some other polishes for the stamping, but truly it works best with the maniology. And then you will take your polish, polish over the stamp. You will take your silicone stamper and run it over it. It will lift it and you will boop pop it down on your nail. You can do it in different colors. Lots of people who are much more talented at it than I am, they paint it. They do reverse painting on it so that it's gorgeous. I I haven't taken the time to learn how to do that yet. And it always makes me sad when I sit here with you guys and be like, yeah, I'm just not talented enough for that yet. These are adorable. And the best part is there are little teddy bears. I leave the blue part on because I think it makes it easier to show you guys. But there are little teddy bears and little bear paws on there that I think will be small enough to even do on my granddaughter's nails. So that is going to be so fun. Oh, I love that tartan because you could take like red and green and you could make that look very festive. I like that. And then this one, oh, it's just, this one is mostly plaid designs. Oh, little faces and little strawberries. I hope, can I get that so you, can you guys see it down here? What's best? That's probably best. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, the girls are gonna love this. Okay, let's see what we got. Each month you will also get two nail colors. Oh yay, teddy bear colors. So we have Tea Time and Canterbury. And actually this Canterbury I thought was black, but I think it's a very deep purple. We will look it up in just a second, but that's what our colors look like. Where's our paperwork? I already lost the paperwork. It says that Tea Time is a light brown stamping polish with a cream finish and Canterbury is a deep cozy navy blue. So it's not purple, it's navy blue. And it also has a creamy finish. In addition to your two stamps and your two polishes, each month you will receive a bonus present from them. We've gotten some really cool ones. Last month we received a stamping pad that makes it so easy because each time after you stamp and you do one nail, you have to clean off your stamper. I used to just keep scotch tape and you can just literally take scotch tape and right across the top and it will lift all the extra polish easy peasy that's left on it. You can also do the same thing around the edges of your nails. I'll put my maniology playlist at the end of this because I have in some of them done my nails. What is this? It looks fuzzy almost. I am, oh my goodness. I bet you can make it look like teddy bears. How would you do that? Where are the words? <laughs> the bonus gift of the month is the fuzzy brown flocking nail powder. Perfect for adding a touch of texture to your teddy bear inspired nail art. This flocking powder creates a soft, fluffy finish on your nails. I wonder how that washes, making them look and feel like real teddy bear fur. Stop it. Something else to know about this is the polishes may end up in the line. At some point, Maniology may put these in the line. Same with this. The plates though will only ever be available through the Manny by Me. So you will get it if you are subscribed to Manny by Me. If it doesn't sell out and in the future someone subscribes for Manny by Me, if these haven't sold out, they will still be available in the shop, but only to Manny by Me members. I'm kind of intrigued by the fluff. Step one on prepped nail, apply base coat, then paint it the coat of tea time. So they've put the light brown on it. Then it says step two, while the polish is still wet, apply fuzzy powder to the nail. Apply enough flocking powder to cover the entire nail and let the nail polish dry completely. 
then dust off excess powder, but only when the polish is dry. And then step three, you do your teddy bear. So you polish it, you flock it, and then you stamp it. This is it from the front, the finished. That is very interesting and it really makes me want to try it. It's the, I think that the flocking is either going to be really cool or really odd. I want to lean toward cool. <laughs> So we're going to have to try this. Maybe one of the babies will let me try it on them first. That would be perfect. Next we have two boxes, two different months of our journal junk box. Because yes, that is how behind we got. But I love, I always feel bad when this happens. And yet for some reason I love it a little bit. Because I love being able to show you guys two months of any box. Because if you're out there and you're watching the channel and you're thinking about, hey, I might like a subscription box. Do I want makeup? Do I want food? Do I want a stationary subscription box? Do you journal? Do you make lists? I love paper and pen products. I will put all of the information for Journal Junk down below with a link with code Catherine Love. You will get 15% off your first box. These are sent to us for review. Let's look at the paperwork and see which month because I want to do them in order. We have October and November, so technically, <laughs> Woohoo! Only one of them is behind. I was afraid I had September and October and I was totally gonna hide my head in shame, but okay, okay, November. Feeling a little bit better about myself now. So this is our October box. It is Blush and Brave October. Ooh, that is what it looks like. Oh, it's gonna be rosy and stuff. That is gorgeous. Our paperwork gives us some journaling prompts because if you're out there journaling and, and you're kind of new to it or or like you've been doing it a long time and you start running out of ideas. Like, what do I talk about today? I try and lean toward like a gratitude journal. So it's pretty easy to stay on top of what you're grateful for. But this is like week one, reflect on a time when you showed up for a friend in need. How did it strengthen you and your bond? So that's a great thing to focus on. And it just gives you ideas like that. And on the back, we have a little bit of information, just mostly the name and that kind of, oh, about what's inside. This is so soft. Look how cute that is. So now I'm not gonna curl my hair today. I look like Shirley Temple when I came up here. Can't you guys tell? Totally Shirley Temple, but this is super cute. I love it for pulling my hair back when I wash my hair in the evening. So that is super fun. Next we have our pins. Oh, these are gorgeous. I have some littles that are going to love this. How pretty that is. It's a crown. And it looks like it's a, is it a heart? Yes, a heart. And can you tell there's a gem inside? The other one, here, let's open these. The other one looks like it is um, glittery. That is what they look like. They are pink. These twist? Yes. Twist for easy. Uh, this is definitely me. I, I will be using this. Making my queenly notes. What a fun thing to journal in. Oh, there's a, can you guys see? There's a rhinestone in the top. What a fun thing to journal with or just to make your groceries li lists with. I use so many of the journals and the notebooks that we get for everyday lives, for a meal planning notebook or Christmas just started. I took one notebook and I give everybody a page so that as I think of ideas for them or I purchase thing, I have to keep track. There's a lot of us and I have to keep track. So I have a Christmas book. Point being, I do so many things with the books that isn't just journaling. But when I do journal, or actually in any of my planners or calendars that I use, I use the ephemera too. This is stickers, blush and brave, 50 pieces. It's like a real vintage and tea time looking, floral, very floral, and they're stickers. So you could just put them in your journals. It just is fun and it makes it so pretty. Oh, look, we have a face mask, watermelon, Hydrates and Relieves Facial Mask. Oh, that's fun. Infused with a serum concentrated in ultra hydrating, thirst quenching watermelon. Soothing watermelon leaves your skin nourished, smooth, and ultimately refreshed. We don't usually receive skincare type things in here, so that is kind of fun and different. We do often get our washi tape type situations. I love this clear one. I like to use this in some way with gift wrapping. Or if you do a card, I will run a strip, instead of licking it and sealing it, I will run a strip of this washi tape across it just because it's pretty, that kind of thing. This is gorgeous roses. This one gets set aside for when I need it for my mom. <laughs> Next, oh, it looks like we have cards. A quick note to say, that's pretty. Let's see what else they are. Then we have one that's 
just floral. The insides are blank. This one says for you, and it has a cake on it, so you could use it for birthday or anniversary, whatever you wanted. Super sweet, and at the cost of cards these days, happy to have some cards around. I would probably only use these for my girls because they are real pink and pretty. You use them for whomever you would love to. Next out, we have our notebook. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this sealed. It is, you can see how thick it is. It is a soft back, not a hard back. Very convenient size to, because, <laughs> I've said this in the past. I love the big ones that we get, they're fantastic. I find special jobs for them. But things that I do like meal planning or if I keep grocery lists running, just things that I use for the things that I wanna write down in everyday life, I like them to be slightly smaller because I tire of them. <laughs> And I want to move on to a new pretty cover with a new season because I do, next to my chair, my main chair where, for when we sit down and watch TV, I keep the one that I'm working in and a pen, probably with this one, that pretty crown pen, right on top so that if somebody calls and I need to write something down or I have a great idea, oh, you know what I should get so-and-so for Christmas? I will sometimes write in here. I try real hard to put that in my Christmas book. Sometimes it goes in this book. So I like it when they're a little smaller because then I go through them quicker. And last we have, I'm gonna say it could be, let's see what they call it. It could be either a pencil bag or a cosmetic bag. <laughs> I've lost my paper, here we go. They say it is, oh, just for the record, and this is why you have to open things. <laughs> this is two journals. Okay, we're gonna open it. <laughs> so the beauty of my, that story I was just telling about smaller ones just got even better because now it's two smaller ones. This is why I always have to open everything. Oh my gosh, think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Okay, so that one <laughs> and this one, they are both smaller ones. And like I said, perfect because then you can use like one for meal planning and one for taking notes, keeping lists. You know what I mean, <laughs> just kidding. Back to this, since we were looking up what do we call this, it is a Pink is Power pencil pouch. This would hold a lot of pencils. Oh, but it opens all the way. And it has all kinds of doodads and inside places. Oh, it's gusseted where you could put all kinds of things. It has clear pockets on the outside. This is pretty cool. I have little ones that are going to like this. This was the September box. We have our pencil box. We have this really cute headband that we can use to pull our hair back. For me, mostly when I do my hair in the evening, the two soft bound journals, notebooks, whatever you'd like to own, however you'd like to use them in your life. The cards, the face mask, the stickers, that's the ephemera, the really, really cute pens, the washi tape, is that it? I think that's it. That was September. That is a lot of goodies in September. No, I've been saying September. See, I felt so guilty that I had fallen so far behind that I keep referring to this as September. It was October. This was October. I am not nearly as behind as I thought. Okay, let's get into November. Again, these are sent to me for review, but because we review them, I will put the link and my code Catherine Love down below. It will get you 15% off your first box. In November, we have Comfort and Cheer November. And then again on the back, a little bit about everything in here. It is Journal Junk Box. Ooh, socks. And that is what the inside looks like. Right on top, we have pretty cozy socks. They look kind of like a watermelon, but in the wrong, <laughs> wrong color. I like it though. Let's see, what do they call them? Cozy snowflakes, plush socks. And it says assorted, $12.99. So those are just, I just got the darker snowflakes. And actually I can see better than looking at like this. If I look in the camera, I can see they look like snowflakes. They are super soft. Next in this one, we have our Wonder and Wishes Journal Junk Sticker Collection. This has kind of a Christmas feel to it. I like it, but it could just be fall. But to me, because of the greens and the reds, I feel like it's leaning a little Christmassy. Oh, we have cards in this one too. So you can see each season, it kind of follows the same kind of theme. I love I have these cards so early though. So yeah, looking at this, it's definitely got a festive holiday theme. These are gorgeous. Look how vintage and beautiful that looks. Just beautiful and probably blank inside so you can write whatever you'd like, yes. Oh, look at this, so pretty. 
These are gorgeous. I'm going to take these right downstairs. And as I get cards in, it will <laughs> help me to easily return them. I just, I can't even tell you the last time I bought Christmas cards because I just don't get them anymore. Most of us are just right here and we see each other so often that we really don't do cards like we used to back in the day. Some of the ones with families still do the family picture cards and I do love receiving those because I have a little album that I keep them in, but these will be perfect to keep around. Next out we have tags. You can use these for real gift tags or you can use them in your journal. That's the actual six that you will receive to just zhuzh up your journal, make it festive through the season. Actually, I could use this and give everybody on their page one in the book that I keep. Just, it's mostly about making me happy. The book that I have everybody's names in that I write down when I get them for Christmas would be perfect for that. Oh, hot cocoa and an adorable spoon. Winter Wonderland Dark Chocolate Hot Cocoa. Mostly, I mean, yes, the hot chocolate will be fantastic, but that spoon sitting on like a Christmas plate, that would be so cute. Oh, or if you guys saw my Norley box used to stir in one of those cups, sitting with it on the table, that would be gorgeous. Next out, we have our festive holiday pins. Definitely taking these immediately, immediately downstairs because I have started my book that is my Christmas book because you know, guys, this is, what is today? I wish I could tell you, <laughs> I really do. I can look at my, hold on, <laughs> hang tight. I'll check Mr. iPad, it's the 14th. <sighs> I could not have told you that. I could have guessed that it was between the 13th and the 15th. So I am Christmas shopping already. This is really cool. It's got a stag's head on it. I am not sure. <laughs> I am not sure what we're saying this is, but I have to tell you, my instinct initially was golf ball <laughs> because the rhinestones, and then I went immediately to Epcot. So I'm not real clear on what they were going for, but I get either golf or Epcot out of it. And then this one is, it feels sequiny and it feels really cool. Very festive. It's got gold and kind of a greenish, greenish tone on it. Those are very cool. I think I'm gonna use the Epco one. <laughs> Next, we have a per paper pack that you can take your papers. These are probably what? Six by six. And that's what all of them look like. And you can cut them into any size you'd like and put them in any way you like. Some people rip them because they like the ragged edge and you can just put them along the edge of your journal so that when you turn to that page, you have pretty design, so many ideas. My girls love to use them for crafting and I let them do that. Joy, Love, and Peace. This is our notebook for December. I already started my Christmas book. This is a tough decision because I came up a few days ago looking to see if I had any Christmas ones left from last season. And I didn't, so I started in one that just had some kind of green on it, but it's not technically a Christmas one. I think I might have to rewrite everything in this. So I will have this sitting on my table through the season because I love it. And it's really, oh, look at the lines. I hope you guys can see inside. The lines are kind of fancy. I like that. Yeah, this is going downstairs to be my Christmas book now. And oh, so now one of these pens, what am I gonna use? I might have to go with the glitter one. Let me know below what you think I should use. And then last out, we have a bag. Yay, a reusable bag. And I love that it's not too big. This is perfect to stick in my tote. I am using a marshmallow tote that I got from FabFitFun forever ago for my purse now because Christmas, I, I stick a lot in my purse. This will fit in there nicely and I can use it. Oh, it's a wide bottom. Nice. I can use it for when I go to Target or whatever because we have to take our own bags everywhere we go now. This will be so pretty and festive for that. Okay, so the November box had that really cute tote, a really nice Christmas notebook, which I am going to use as a notebook, not a journal. The paper that you can use for so many craft things. A lot of these things you can use for crafty items, not this. This one you're gonna drink. It's just nice hot cocoa and a pretty spoon. We have our pins, we have our cards, and our stickers, and our tags. So you can use those in so many ways when you do your journaling. It just, it mostly for me, it's about doing it to make it pretty so that when I open my journal and I go to write that day, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. 
It's just about making the whole experience more fun for me. Forgot her socks. We also had socks. So this is our November box. And last but not least, same story. I have two of the Mint Mongoose. These are sent to me for review. I will link it down below. It is a jewelry subscription. Each month you will receive a new set. So I can show you two months worth. They are gorgeous. It was started by Helene so she could stay home and take care of her littles at home. And each month the jewelry has a story that links in some way to her life. And it will tell you on the back of the card that you get all about the story. I'm not sure, uh-oh, I am not sure which one of these I had first. And she does not tell us the month. It says this month, so I have two months worth. <laughs> I'm not sure which months they are. We're just gonna get into them. So each month you will get your little pouch. You can choose whether you would like to have a necklace and earrings, a necklace and bracelet. You can choose all three. When you sign up now, your first month is $9. That's, I don't even have a code for that. When you go to her webpage, it's just $9 to sign up. These are so pretty. It's kind of green with black layering in it. That is the necklace. And I love that it grabs it from the sides because I always love the way that makes it hang. And then the earrings are the same. And she says the green in the set is a tribute to her garden. So those are absolutely gorgeous. And then let's get into the other month. This one is lavender. Look how gorgeous that is. It's kind of swirly and that's oh, really pretty. It looks like kind of glass slash stone in there. It's very pretty. And then the earrings are the same shape and lavender as the necklace. That is very pretty. That would be very pretty with this. Hold on, and we're gonna put these on because this would be pretty with the sweater I have on. And she said her inspiration for this one was organized chaos. Those are gorgeous. I like that a lot. She explains it much better in her nice little story on the back about how she got there. But th those are gorgeous. I like that a lot. I love the lavender with the gray that I have on. I love just where they hang. So it's a nice hang, but not too much. That's gorgeous. Okay, that is Mint Mongoose. If you have any other questions about it, let me know below. Happy to answer them when you sign up. Your first month is $9. You can choose whether you would like yellow gold, silver, rose gold, surprise me. Then you can decide if you want earrings or a necklace or earrings and a bracelet or all three. So many choices that you can make, but I will put the link down below so that you can go over and check it out. Thank you so much for coming by today, guys. I know we had a lot of different things coming your way, but I really appreciate you taking the time to be here. I hope you will subscribe. If you don't already subscribe, give us a thumbs up to help us out there in the algorithm. I hope I will see you again really soon and have a great evening, guys. Take care.